This is a quick demonstration on how the concepts of network virtualization can be used together with storage for a more flexible software-defined data center. We're logging into vPlex, um, and you can see here Unisphere for vPlex is simple and easy. We'll show you what we're doing in a little bit, and I'm also going to log into VMware Nasira's network virtualization platform. What we're going to show is we're going to show how you could have a very uh, flexible software-defined network model um, and how that could interact dynamically and automatically uh, with uh, storage virtualization uh, for the data plane within storage that vPlex can offer. Uh, vPlex is often used by customers to create stretch clusters, active active data center models uh, across distance and uh, like any technology that uh, replicates data there's a fair amount of data that flows from one side to another. So popping back here into vPlex we've created some distributed devices. These are uh, volume storage devices that span uh, multiple data centers and here you could see a whole slew of them as an example and this is actually what we're doing here it could be uh, data stores underneath a vSphere 5.1 cluster for an active active stretch cluster now if you take a look at these distributed devices uh, they're supporting a whole series of virtual machines um, and what we're going to illustrate is we're going to illustrate how uh, you can see that currently we're driving about 80 uh, megabytes per second um, so let's call that uh, roughly 640 megabits per second, so a gigabit per second worth of bandwidth between these two sites supporting all of these virtual machines. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to kick off uh, an additional high load within one of the virtual machines that will dramatically increase the amount of replication traffic. Um, and underneath, vPlex can easily handle that, but of course, we only have in this particular example a gigabit per second worth of bandwidth between the two sites. Now, the whole connectivity between the two sites, that whole uh, network is a logical construct uh, that the network virtualization platform that VMware Nasira is uh, currently powering. So one thing that we've done that's very interesting is you'll see that the replication bandwidth increases to about you know 120 megabytes per second, saturating that um, uh, that gigabit per uh, second Ethernet connection, and then automatically the VMware Nasira layer, because we've created triggers and events, will automatically increase the amount of effective bandwidth available to vPlex, in this case, to 4 gigabits per second. And looking over at what's happening within the vPlex UI, you can see that the amount of replication uh, throughput uh, has now, in essence, quadrupled, right? So vPlex can utilize everything that is uh, being provided to it, and it can more rapidly uh, synchronize between these two sites, which presents itself as lower latency inside the guest. Now, boom, we're very rapidly replicating all of this uh, traffic between the sites. Um, and again, it, this change in this logical queue that's being used here for this uh, particular connection, uh, you'll notice it changed there to 4 gigabits per second automatically. Now, uh, as the replication would either, you know, perhaps uh, catch up as, as the load within the VM eventually decreased, or in this particular case, you know, we can lower the uh, iometer workload generator inside the VM, uh, it'll automatically also decrease the amount of bandwidth uh, going in the opposite direction. Again, this degree of high degree of automation, high degree of simplicity, high degree of a very fluid virtualized resources here virtualized storage resources virtualized network resources is what really characterizes a software defined data center so uh, here this workload is continuing and uh, will rapidly log in and uh, kill the iometer task that's generating this very high workload and then you'll see the same process occur in reverse again this is actually a very very simple thing for us to uh, uh, build as a prototype and you could imagine how uh, with things like virtualized vplex where vplex exists as software as a virtual machine uh, you could have this even more tightly coupled and delivered in all sorts of interesting and funky ways uh, vplex also has its own uh, very uh, sophisticated api but also uh, using new technologies from emc like uh, the software defined storage layer that emc viper or virtualization platform reimagined um, represents. You could actually have a full-blown RESTful API to things, uh, not only vPlex, but all things within the EMC portfolio and others. So again, you can see a whole model where you can have extremely high degrees of automation uh, across all the elements of the data center being kind of the theme of what we're demonstrating here. 
Now, as this uh, uh, completes up, you know, we're just going to kill the iometer load. You'll see the workload decrease, um, and, uh, and you'll see the uh, configuration for the Nasira, um, uh, VMware Nasira uh, network virtualization layer automatically kick in and uh, change the uh, quality of service queuing and limits uh, automatically and very, very simply. Again, one thing that's very important to understand about this is that in the uh, method that uh, VMware Nasira virtualizes the control plane of the network, you'll notice that uh, these configuration changes were able to take place without somebody physically touching a physical component inside um, the physical networking layer and the, the data plane of the network. Uh, likewise, um, using EMC Viper, if we use this on top of VPlex, you could do the same thing where even the storage configuration is decoupled from the storage devices themselves. So very neat uh, demonstration of how these technologies can work together, how the software defined data center uses virtualization concepts, so network virtualization, storage virtualization, and an extremely high degree of automation. Pretty cool stuff, and uh, uh, just a tip of the iceberg of what you're going to see here at EMC World 2013.